There are two members absent uh, as of now being five o'clock, Joel Sierra is absent and Mark Woody. Uh, we do have three members, so we have enough for a quorum. The applicant should be aware that if an uh, item goes to a vote, not necessarily that it has to go to a vote tonight, you would need all three members to vote in your favor in order for it to pass. Um, one member votes no and it fails. Um, Mr. Sobo, you're first up. Okay. Joel Hold says, on. Joel says yes. He's coming? Yes. Now um, or an hour? No, no. <laughs> yeah. I'll see if we can find out. If he's coming now, we'll wait a few minutes and let him join the party. Oh, all right. Um, why don't we just hold it yeah, for a few minutes? So, we're on agenda item one. Yes, we are. The minutes from so, September so. have to be approved. Okay, so I need a motion to approve the September 15th meeting minutes. I'll make a motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, motion. Motion passes for the meeting minutes. Uh, next item on our agenda, Sobo and Sobo Holdings. Yes, I'm Gary Sobo from Sobo and Sobo. Uh, looks like everybody's got a package and hopefully you have our plot plan. Uh, what we're doing is buying an existing one family house and we wish to convert it to an office space. This is 118 Academy Avenue, 120, is our office now, one of our offices. And then we've got Preston Street. Actually, this is, oh, you, okay. <laughs> there was somebody out in the wall. Uh, this is one of the three lot subdivision. The other two are already offices. We're on one side and uh, Diane Morante, the accountant's on the other. The back of it is uh, the, the junkyard. Mm -hmm. uh, because this is a small lot, subdivided many decades ago, we do need waivers for the lot area, the lot width, the front yard, and one side yard. And that's why we're here. And parking, you'll be using the existing parking from the other building? Well, this has a backyard, and we've laid out, I think, six parking spaces. Uh, you need more than that? No, we made, laid out the requisite number. One, two, three, I think five. For your staffing and your clients. Right. It's enough parking. Six well, places. There's five. There's five. Uh, we do have the lot next door, which has got perhaps 12 spots. And we've got a lot behind one Dolson Avenue, which is right across Preston Street. We've probably got, I don't know, 60 or 70 spots in there. Parking will be an issue. Parking is not an issue. Gotcha. Has there been any work taking place in the in the structure now? No, no. Still laid out as a single family house. It's actually the same layout as 120, which we have converted to an office. Yeah. Carrie, did you buy it, or did you already own it? Yeah, we just couldn't get the way the the owner to wait. Okay. Because we've been on hold for what five months. Yet. Yeah. So yeah. I did the fire inspection on 120. I'm aware of it, but least I don't. I don't have any objections to it. Unless you guys have any questions. No. As long as you comply with the fire inspector and the requirements. Oh, I see. I see no issue. You know, we know we've got to do some work inside in order to put it over. So it's a pre-existing non-conforming use and you're just asking for the waivers. The building is already there. Right. You're not making any changes to the lot exterior as now. it currently exists. No. Um, 
This is an area of variance that's being sought. Uh, Gary did lay out um, what he was asking, an undesirable change uh, produced in the character of the neighborhood or detriment. You own two of the nearby properties. Correct. Um, it's mostly business in that little section. Yes, it is. Uh, the benefits sought by the applicant be, can be achieved by some method feasible for the applicant to pursue other than the area variance. It's a pre-existing non-conforming already. The requested area variance is substantial, and it is. Um, but again, it's to make it work. Um, he's not doing anything in addition to the property. The proposed variance will have adverse effect or impact on the physical or environmental conditions in the neighborhood or district. You're not making any changes, so there's no adverse impact. And yes, the alleged difficulty was self-created. So an answer to no to any one of those is not a declination of the project. It's a balancing act. And if the board feels that they balanced and everything is okay, you can approve the project. Okay, so we need a, a resolution or a motion? motion? You can do it just simply on a motion. Okay, so I'll, I'll entertain a motion. It would be a motion for the variances requested uh, from the applicant. Was it three variances, right? You said three? Four. Four, four is an area. Minimum so lot area. Four. Uh, minimum lot width, minimum front yard, and a minimum side yard. So the four variances. I'll entertain the motion. I make a motion to approve and okay the, the four variances. The granting of the variances. The granting of the four variances. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> And now, good luck. All we're you. doing is approving him now to go to the planning board right. because he was referred to the plan uh, from the planning board to the zone. So that's my question for Martina, who I hope is, is listening. Do I have to make? Uh, do I have to submit some paperwork to back to the planning board, or will you uh, automatically put it on the agenda? Okay, yes, the application was just suspended, but it wasn't withdrawn. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Let me know where that planning board will be. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. One more just please state your name uh richard heffernan Address. Um, 129 Wickham Avenue, apartment 2R, Middletown, New York. If you can give us a brief outline on your request here. Yes. Um, well, I guess uh, I don't want to avoid it too much, but going back to uh, a while back, this house was in foreclosure and um, it, it was a two family, but while it was in foreclosure and passed through a couple of different investors' hands, it lost its uh, status or its uh, use. Exactly. <laughs> so um, I'm here to try to get it back. So you're seeking a use variance. Yes. And as the board knows, a use variance is very hard to grant. Um, there's the four uh, prongs to it. Um, but you have to provide the financial, um, which is a major component to this. Do you have any financials for the board to review? Uh, not to review. Um, are, you, are you talking about the um, the money um, that was put into the look at well, the property? It, it's how much the property was bought for, how much was put into the property, what the rate of return that you can get on. Right. How long have you listed the property? 
Um, has there been anybody that has come and expressed an interest in renting um, it? Uh, we, um, there, there was a mix How of, long have you owned it for? Well, I, I don't own it. Uh, a company called uh, um, DNS New York Realty, or Realty New York owns it. Okay, when did they buy it? Um, so you're representing them? Yes, yeah, I, I'm a, uh, kind of like a retired guy and uh i just uh i work for these guys i i do um uh, all their work they, they, they live out of town so I, I do um i take care of the properties for them i'm like a property manager okay but um you know we used to do a lot of it a lot of property management i had 20 guys 25 guys but uh, no I, I just work for these two guys I uh, just me and my wife and uh, two other workers, and we downsize and we just take care of these two guys. They keep us busy enough. And uh, they bought this building for um, so is this property occupied right now? Yes, as a residential. Yes, there's two two uh, families living in it. Okay, for how long? For how long? How long has they been living there? Um, I would say about six months. Six months. Six, seven months. Okay. And before that, it was at Bacon. It was Bacon. Um, it was owned by, uh, it was picked up on one of these kind of sales, um, a lean sale. Um, City of Middletown owned it, and it was yeah. sold at a tax sale. Okay. Right. And they, uh, a guy named Mark Delacour had it, and then uh, these guys that I worked for, I guess you ran into him, um, and they they bought it from him. I believe they paid about forty thousand um, dollars between um, the plumbing and the electric and the carpentry work that we did. Uh, I'm, I, I can guess that we put in about seventy five thousand um, dollars, maybe a little bit more. Um, and um and the apartments are rented out for thirteen hundred dollars. But have you tried to list it uh commercially for lease? Well it, well it's zoned uh, I believe industrial. Okay. So um what was there before the apartments? I so it's always been a uh two family. Walter, it's do you know about the history? It's been a two family forever. It, it's you know, there's two families on both sides of it. There's the reason why it's zoned industrial is uh, behind it. There's long rows of warehousing and, you know, not, you know, it's, but all the neighbors and across the street, it's all two families. The single family on the right side, on the left side, when you're on the street looking at it, it's uh, uh, two family on the left. And then it's two families right up into the firehouse. And then, uh, it's a mix of two families and single families on the <clears throat> on the right hand side, going towards Low Street, and then across the street is a couple of houses that don't have driveways, and I believe they're single family houses. They're usually vacant. Well, the first criterion in a use variance is the applicant cannot realize a reasonable return provided the lack of return is substantial as demonstrated by competent financial evidence. Um, so you have to provide that to the board. So you want me to list it in the MLS for a period of time to show that it can't be rented out as industrial. Right. And that there wouldn't be a reasonable rate of return in the industry, uh, leaving it classified as industrial. Okay, so uh, I mean, I'm not sure what an industrial this is the blue occupant would do there. This is the blue house. Yes, that's in between the green and red one. Yes, and all those houses are the one to the right. I one. believe is a single family. Walter, uh, most of that. that uh, it's an I one zone. All those residential houses on the same side, he's on, yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, I think almost all the way down. And up to, and up to the firehouse. It's always been. It's always been a, a two family. Yes, as far as I know. 
And you bought it, the, the owners bought it from the city as a tax. Yes, uh, not the current owner. I think uh, it was sold Delacourt. Yeah, Delacourt, yeah. I think it was sold maybe a couple times in there. Yeah, the problem was that it was vacant. Tax and it lost the chance. Bank, so. So explain. There's a, there's a fire in this house, in the house next door, Donnie. Mm -hmm. Explain to me what you me meant by because it was vacant. That's the issue. Anytime there's a vacant property for more than one year, it uses more than one year. Yes, it uses. It loses status. Yes. But yet everyone's surrounding it. It reverts back to its original use, which is industrial one. But it's a house. Blacksmith shops and like that. <laughs> Because Niger's is right behind that. Yeah, I, I have a visual. It's a just that. Um, in the backyard back there. Along the. Uh, uh, does Niger go all the way down that far? Uh, the, the church pews are back there. There's a tire recycler back there. There's a few businesses yeah. down North Street. Along the, the, the rail corridor. The right. railroad tracks run back there. Uh, cemetery, St. Joseph's. It is on for a public hearing, so if you want to open the public hearing. Okay. We'll go ahead and open the public hearing. Is there anybody online? There is no one online at this time. Martina, anybody on the phone? No one on the phone. No one on the phone. Any so, questions from the board? Moving on. Wendy, any questions? Chief, any questions? Um, I don't have any questions. I know just knowing that that neighborhood from being from middletown like walt, walt said most of the home in that 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 blockage is a two family mm -hmm. those two houses that you were referring to have been vacant so right. that was a kid and i think someone started working on it uh, yeah they, they are working there. on it it's on and off yeah um, um there's yeah. a few single families but mostly two family homes in that neighborhood mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, this one, um, you know, I tried to get it inspected with um, with Cisco, and uh, I, I, you know, we didn't realize that we thought we just needed a permit to to rent it. And uh, when he went through it, uh, there was only one. Well, there's two problems. There's a problem with the back staircase that he wants a, an architect to look at. Well, he wants me to do this first, and then then he wants an architect to look at the back deck. And then um, and they found a GFI that was not working properly. But, you know, we have big electric. Well, I think he already did fix that. Okay. One of the other um, parts of the use variance is the alleged hardship has not been self-created. Obviously, buying the property, knowing that the use wasn't there, um, it is self-created. Um, yeah, I I don't think they knew that. Well, yeah, that's their yeah, response. Okay. okay. Right, right, okay. So that's yeah. why they have lawyers. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold the public hearing open and adjourn this until the following month. If you can get the financials together on what you invested into this property, the leases, um, bank statements, what else do we need, Rich? Um, well, he would need to show it. So I would probably say that it should stay, maybe come back in three months, give them an opportunity to list the property and see if there are other potential uses for the property, if anyone would be interested. And then at that point, the board can consider it. What would I? So what goes on? Okay, not to interrupt, but I just did. Now you're, you're going to rent this thing for three more months and open it. That's my, that's my concern. That's my next and, and, and I, I, this is one of those, yeah, it fell through the cracks. It's a technicality here because it is resident. It, it's smack dab in a residential block. It's a residential home in between other residential homes. You know, and I know we have laws in place, Rich, and I, I don't take anything away from that. But this is not like an industrial building that they're trying to convert into a resident. Yeah, they already had two kitchens, two bathrooms. Losses use variants. And separate entrances. I don't see, and, I, and I, because it's a residential house, I don't see a business going in there because it's not set up for a business. Right, I could put it in the MLS and it could right. be in there for 
20 years. Uh, you know, and, and, and you got to look at this. If you put it into the MLS as industrial, and if he does get a bite, depending on what goes in, is it safe for the, Correct. the rest families of the around? That's a huge thing. Right. And I don't think what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjourn this until next month. I think that's a good idea. I need that information from you okay. or the owners. Uh, it'll give us some time, Walter. If you can get us a little history on this through code enforcement, Cisco, yeah. get us a get Cisco a report from Cisco, get us an updated inspection on it, and then uh, I'll consult with Rich and we'll go from there. Yeah, I agree. You know, this way we're not in that's violation perfect. anymore. We'll try to expedite this, but. I mean, let me uh, let me meet with Rich and the code enforcement, and we'll try to get you at least legal for now. We can't make any pro promises, but right. let, let's review the file. This is a, a special circumstance. It used to be a house. Um, I'm aware of the property. The chief is aware of the property, so it's not like a, we're not changing too much here. But I'd like the expenses on it, find out where we're at, and get an inspection report to make sure that it's safe that people are occupying this now. Okay. So this way we know that the people that are there are safe and get the code enforcement, at least make sure, you know, I don't want to displace any families and then myself and Rich will find out how we can make this work legally. Okay. Is that cool? All right. Okay. So we'll, yeah. uh, we'll adjourn this until next month. Okay. Please okay. meet with uh, Martina. Okay. Public hearing is kept open. Public hearing is open until next month. Okay. Walter? I recommend that uh, have the engineer, I know he may not get approved, but and how, what was wrong with the back deck? Um, mm -hmm. I, I, it, I believe it's the steps. The steps going up. Can you um, get us an engineer's report to say that it, it, it's been a, a residential uh, building structure? Um, architect? Yeah. An architect, something like that. Okay. Architect or engineer? Yeah. Yeah, well, well I have one of those. Oh, okay, that's cool. And. Uh, it's definitely not a factor. Yeah, he didn't like the, the risers. I don't think they were they were the same. Just making sure that we're, 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 if we let you go for another month, yeah, and nobody just something could have been as right. as possible. And then we might take a chance of getting it fixed beforehand. I recommend that they get the stairs fixed now. I okay. agree. Yes. Get an engineer's report so you get to Cisco for the court enforcement officer. Yeah. You get them done no matter what. You just got to roll some dice here. Yeah. Right. So it makes it safe. You're out of line. Yeah. If you're violating with the code enforcement, it's going to become an issue and, and, and yeah. curve yeah. lines. It's, it's going to get fixed up. Okay. So I guess we still can't get any garbage cans, right? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. Okay. It'd be nice to have. <laughs> Sorry. All right. All right. All right. We'll Thank see you next one. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay. All right. I need a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you.